So I wanted to talk about a cool new application that I've been using uh, called RMPC. And it's this uh, terminal music player that you're seeing on my screen now. And for some context, I've been looking for a terminal music player for quite some time now. Um, I started out using one called Spotify TUI, uh, but ultimately I ended up sort of abandoning this one. Um, for a few reasons, it didn't support album art, um, it couldn't display images. Um, and then in addition to that, uh, it wasn't very customizable. And since I didn't like how it looked out of the box, um, I wasn't super motivated to keep using it. So I went back to using Spotify for quite a while until I found this one. And this is RMPC. And so the way I found this was through this video by Bread on Penguins. And this is a great video showcasing how customizable um, RMPC can be. And so this sort of motivated me to create my own setup. And so I'll take you through what I've done with RMPC uh, in this video. And if you find anything about my setup that you like, um, I have a GitHub repository that has all of the necessary configuration files to um, replicate any aspect of, of my setup. So we'll just go quickly through what I've set up and why, and why I'm liking RMPC versus the alternatives. So first things first, RMPC allows you to manage a queue of tracks. And so this is familiar to most, but the way this works is you have you're currently playing track at the top, and then it's just going to work its way down the list. And you can add songs to this queue um, to sort of uh, get them in line to be played next. Now, you have a couple tabs here. Um, this next one here is the Artists tab, and you'll notice this is just the list of artists that you have in your library. Um, and so you can search through this and find an album that you want. And then let's say you find that album, while you're hovering over it, you can press A, and then that's going to add that entire album to the queue. So now you can see I have this album here um, added at the bottom. And so uh, something else I'll mention now is that this app uses Vim key bindings. Um, so if you're familiar with Vim Motions, uh, if you use NeoVim, for example, you're going to find this to be a very smooth experience. Um, otherwise, it's not too much of a learning curve. Um, but you're going to be navigating with H, J, K, and L. So J to go down, K to go up. And then as you're in this three pane, you know, Explorer, you can use H and L to go back. Um, so the third tab here is just for all of your albums. So if you know exactly which album you want to play, you can press slash to search and then start typing. And then again, if you want, you can hit press A to add that to the queue. Now, the next tab is the search tab, and this is what I think separates RMPC from any other music player, including Spotify. And, um, you know, what you can do here is you can do very advanced searches um, on all of your music. So the first thing you can do is do a basic search using this any tag uh, label here. And if I type, for example, Wesley, then this track, Wesley's Theory, is going to come up. Um, and so if you know exactly what you want, you can type that in, um, and it's going to behave in a pretty predictable way. Um, but you also have all of these other pieces of metadata that you can use to search. And so what this is actually doing, if I go back to um, any album, and I look at the list of tracks in that album, you'll see I have a bunch of metadata on this right-hand pane. And so we can see the title of the song, uh, we can see the artist, the album, uh, the length of the song, the duration in seconds. And then I also have this album artist um, tag that I'm using to track who's featured. So in this case, you can see the song title says featuring Mustafa, and that name is going to be recorded in the album artist field. Uh, and so I'm able to search by, um, by features as well. I also have date and then a list of semicolon separated genres that describe that song. And so you'll see that as I navigate throughout this album, the genre, you know, switches subtly. It shifts subtly. It's not a, a big change, but um, naturally each song is going to be a little bit different. And so I can do a, a very granular search by genre if I want. So to demonstrate that, 
I search for jazz rap, you can see I'm going to get all of these results, which is kind of cool. Now, another thing you can do is, uh, as I mentioned, you can search by who's featured on a track. So if I want all of the tracks that feature Thundercat, then I can do that search. And notice that even in these tracks, which don't mention anything of Thundercat in the title, I'm still able to search uh, because Thundercat appears in the album artist tag right here. Um, so that's a pretty cool thing. And, you know, this is useful if you want to, for example, come up with um, some filter and then select all of these using space, press A to add it to your queue. And then here we go. We have all of these songs at the bottom of our queue now. So it's kind of like you're able to create a, an impromptu playlist. Um, so pretty cool feature. Um, this for me is one of the most valuable things about RMPC. Uh, but moving beyond that, you have the directories tab, uh, which I don't think many people will spend a whole bunch of time in. Um, for most people, you can get what you need just using the artists tab and the albums tab. Uh, but for me, I like to keep live performances as well for each artist. So for example, I have Kendrick Lamar's albums, but I also have this live folder, which has a couple of live performances that I like. Uh, and so I'm able to play those alongside of all of his albums uh, that you would find on Spotify. Now, the sixth tab here is the lyrics tab. And so this one's pretty cool uh, for your currently playing song. In my case, this is The Bird by Anderson Pack. Uh, you can actually see a scrolling view of the lyrics. And so if I go ahead and press P to play this song. Um, first of all, you'll notice you have this progress bar at the bottom, and I can go ahead and fast forward a little bit, go to the lyrics tab, and you'll notice you have the lyrics um, scrolling up as the song goes on. And so it's, so, you know, it's, it's sort of something like you would see on Spotify. Um, you get that synchronized lyric view. Um, but in this case, you know, it's, Pretty cool to have it in a terminal app like RMPC. Uh, so not a feature you'd expect, maybe not one that you'll use, but if you think that's useful for you, it's pretty cool to know that it's supported. Uh, and so now one of the other things that I want to show is a pretty cool feature I think that's unique to RMPC, uh, which is that you can actually add things to your queue from YouTube. So for example, if I have a YouTube video like this one here, a tiny desk performance. What I can do is just copy the URL to this YouTube video, go back to RMPC and press colon, and this is gonna give you this command window. And so if you type add YT and then a space and you give the URL, then what it's going to do is add that song at the very end of your queue. And so now I have this entire tiny desk performance, this YouTube video uh, as audio, alongside all of my, uh, my other music, which is pretty nice. So I can go ahead and hit enter to play this. And then you notice that the album art shows up, um, or I should say the thumbnail of the YouTube video shows up where the album art would go. So it still looks pretty seamless uh, alongside the rest of your music. So kind of cool um, that you can add that. I don't think many music players support that. Um, but in any case, one of the other things that I wanted to show is how you can add um, different features to RMPC. And so something to note here is that uh, when you install RMPC, you're going to set up this configuration file. And this is where you do a bunch of settings, um, like for example, all of your key bindings, um, how you want the album art to appear, um, and you know a bunch of other things. So you can look through this file um, here's all your settings for searching. Well, one thing that you can do with this config file, if I go to the top, is you can use this on song change uh, key. And so what you can do is set this equal to a script. And if you're familiar with just writing a, a bash script, then you'll have no problems with this. Uh, otherwise, I'm sure you can, you can figure it out. They have tutorials on the documentation site um, that are pretty easy to follow. So in this case, I have this increment play count script, and this isn't something that I made. Uh, this was, in fact, just following their tutorial. 
if you go to their documentation, which I'll link in the description, you can find the execute on song change guide. And so this allows you to, again, add this on song change value, and you just point it to a script. And in this case, I followed this one here, the track or the track song play count. And I have a script that looks exactly like this. And all it does is it looks for this play count attribute on each track and it goes ahead and increments it if it exists. Otherwise, if you've just added the song and maybe you haven't played it yet, then it'll set it equal to one. Um, and so very easy to set this up. And then all you want to do is make sure that you include this in the song table. And so then once you add this here, once you go back to RMPC, that's how you get this showing up actually in the UI. This is the song table here. Um, so again, very easy to extend the functionality of this. And um, what I'll also say is that uh, they have, if I go to a new tab here, they have this RMPC command and they have a bunch of different things that you can do in the terminal. So if you are um, someone who likes to do a lot of scripting, then you can access a lot of data. Um, for example, the status of the music player. Um, you can access things like this. You can control the playing and pausing of the music um, through terminal commands. And what that means is that you can write other scripts to control RMPC. And so I have one set up so that if I push a hotkey, and I'll demonstrate this even outside of the terminal, just when I'm in the browser. If I push a particular hotkey, then I'm going to get a preview of my queue. And so I can see the currently playing song as well as what's going to be playing. And then another thing I can do, um, I'll go back to RMPC and clear out my queue. I can, from anywhere on my computer, press another hotkey, and I get this menu to choose an album. So if I want to queue up some Frank Ocean, then I can select one of his albums and um, that's just going to be added automatically for me. So if I check my queue again, you can see now I have Frank Ocean in my queue. Uh, and so this is a super nice thing to be able to do uh, just from anywhere. And it's because RMPC allows you to use these terminal commands that you're able to set things like that up. Um, so. If anyone's curious, I can make a video on how I got uh, that set up, being able to see the queue, manipulate the queue from the terminal and from hotkeys on my MacBook. Um, but with that, uh, that is everything I wanted to go over in this video. So again, let me know if you want to see anything else. Um, but this is how I'm using RMPC and, and hopefully this is helpful to someone. If it is, then feel free to take a look at the GitHub repository to replicate any aspect of the setup. Um, but that's all I have.